I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars, Virgo. Now, there's a new moon sitting in your solar seventh house. Fabulous position for you, Virgo, because anything to do with the new moon signifies a whole new phase starting in your solar cycle. Um, and the seventh house is all to do with partnerships and relationships. And partnerships and relationships on, on all levels, but um, it's traditionally known as a more intimate position. But right now for you, Virgo, it can go over into all levels of your life. Okay, so it's very positive. Your ruling planet Mercury is in there as well. Now, to look out for this week, um, Mercury does have a connection with Mars, which is retrograde in your sign. So you want to be careful that you don't um, agree to anything without thinking it through properly. Not that you would, okay, but what you see on the surface may not be the total picture of what you get, okay? Now, it's not to say that it's good, bad, or indifferent. It's just something to watch out for. Um, Mars can just cause you to make rash decisions or, uh, you know, rush in without looking. So, all in all, this looks like a, a very good week for you, but you want to stay in control. And that means just stepping back, thinking about what you want, where you're headed. The journey is also important, the people that you're traveling with as well. Okay. Um, if you can do that, then you'll be in a much better position and, and in no time as well. Okay, have a great week, Virgo. I'm Jennifer Angel. So sorry for my croaky voice. I have a bit of a chest cold with my move to New York. So hope to get rid of that soon. Um, love and luck to you, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.